EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchett here with your outlook for September 24th, 2021. Georgia's Quick Stop Cafe sponsors the Friday Daily Forecast video and has for quite some time. Uh, they are on Milford Road, which is also Route 209 in the Stroudsburg area of Monroe County. They are your one-stop shop for food, beer, wine, and fuel. And speaking of food, beer, and wine, they are running a promotion through October 1st. This is the second full week of the, the promotion that they're running that... Uh, as long as you mention EPAWA, or that you saw this video and that I sent you, you can get 10% off all prepared food in store. So anything that they prepare there in the store, you have to be in, pre in the store to do that. Uh, and also all beer and wine sales, all 10% off just by mentioning this video or mentioning that I sent you. It's a 10% off all of those items, okay? So uh, that's a, it's a great deal. So stop in at George's Quick Stop Cafe in Marshalls Creek, Pennsylvania, and tell them I sent you and get your discount. Uh, so today is uh, is a transition day to uh, high pressure moving in. So we have the cold front that's going to be the move through yesterday, pretty strong cold front at that, uh, is kind of hung up a little bit in our eastern areas this morning. So our far eastern areas are going to see uh, a few showers this morning, and that's close to the coastal plain of New Jersey, and that's it. The rest of us, mostly sunny, 68 to 72 is a spread today. Very comfortable temperatures, very comfortable humidity, very early fall-like, okay? So it's going to be a nice day today. Temperatures in the interior tonight are going to get down into the 40s for low, so it's going to be a crisp morning on Saturday morning also. Uh, but here's a look at the, the GFS for that uh, at uh, the, this morning, showing a little bit of gray over New Jersey, and that's because you have a few showers here lingering this morning, and as that moves forward, that's out before noon, and then uh, skies will there, too, become mostly sunny once that moves away, finally. It just was real slow moving eastward. Now, we had uh, some heavy rain yesterday, and, uh, you know, if you watch these videos all week, I was talking about this rain and how it was just blown way out of proportion with the, the amounts of rain over a large area. Now, we did have some isolated areas, had some, you know, higher amounts, but most of us saw between one to two inches of rain. The majority of the region did, okay? Now, out in central PA, they got smacked around a little bit. Uh, northeastern Maryland, maybe uh, right around Chester County and eastern Lancaster County had a little bit higher there too. But there weren't these outlandish rain amounts that were projected for three to four inches were, were insane. And I'm not a fan of sensationalism at all. I'm going to give you a realistic approach every single video. I'm not, we are not owned by a parent company. I own the business, okay? So I do what I want. And I think giving people the most realistic possibility of what's going to happen or the most realistic projection is the best course of action. That is not the best course of action for everybody, though. The National Weather Service takes a different approach. They'll give you some caveats in there. Well, they, they can if, if X happens, then Y can happen, and you get all these other variables that enter the equation with, um, you know, that we could have three to four inches of rain, or we could have severe weather, we could have tornadoes. And I was not a fan of any of that if you watch the videos, because I was giving you a realistic, grounded approach. National Weather Service has to cover all that because that's what they do. They, it's a non-zero chance, so they have to mention, yeah, yes, we do have tornado possibilities. And I said that in a video, too. I just, I just said it in a different way. But when the media reads these headlines or reads the area forecast discussions from the National Weather Service and they're sh expanding on all these possibilities, they like to run with it a lot of times to give you these sensationalistic headlines. So I had a little bit of an issue with that yesterday with several uh, TV and print sources that were doing that. I just felt it was unnecessary. So uh, as long as you're following me and watching these videos, you know, I'll give you the straightforward every single day. Uh, am I going to be 100% every single time, every single day, day in and day out? No, but I'm going to be 90% or better. And I'm going to give you a, a realistic and grounded approach to this entire uh, forecasting process and not give you all this other fancy nonsense going on. And I'll explain how and why I think this is going to happen. I'll defend myself on this. So... Uh, this is uh, the cold front moving through today. We have high pressure moving in behind. I just want to break, get that off my chest because that's something that's been bothering me for a while now. And yesterday just kind of will just put me over the edge, which is why I posted on Twitter. For those of you who follow me, I posted about the sensationalistic headlines early in the morning. I was like, oh, my, here we go again. It's not even winter yet. Uh, so today is <laughs> – anyway, I digress. So we have a mostly sunny day today. It's going to be sunny to start tomorrow and then partly cloudy. We have a cold front approaching, so that's why the temperature is going to jump up a little bit in the 72 to 76 degree range. So slight increase of temperatures just because you're getting ahead of a cold front. And this cold front is going to dive toward the region, uh, and it's going to cross over our region on Saturday night. It's going to be a dry frontal passage, however. And as you get over the NAM, you can see that here. You can see it approaching 
right there, and then these showers just die out before it gets in our region. Maybe very far northwestern areas get into a brief shower here uh, overnight, or late, either late evening or, or overnight on uh, Saturday night. But then the front moves through. That's a reinforcing cold front, and then we go back to Sunday, and we're right back here again, the 68 to 72 degree range again. So uh, this is going to be a theme going forward. Uh, and like I said, uh, you know, we're kind of kind of turn the corner here with this this frontal boundary moving through. That we're going to stay kind of like near to slightly above below average for a while, and this might be going for the next uh, two weeks here. Okay, so not just this week, but also in the first week of October looks like very temperate temperatures as well. Uh, so it looks going to be at least feel the part of, of autumn. And these overnight lows tonight are going to be in the 40s in the interior. So it's going to be crisp on Friday or uh, excuse me, Saturday morning when you get up. And, uh, and once we get once you get to Sunday, you're right back in this range again. Monday, maybe a two degree increase in temperatures there, but very similar. OK, so very nice temperatures going forward. Our next chance of precipitation uh, in this uh, region is not going to come until Tuesday. There's a system off to our north on Monday. It should remain there, and then a cold front is going to drop down and give us a chance for some scattered showers late or maybe even a thunderstorm late in the day on Tuesday or Tuesday evening. That's a quick in and out thing. You're back to mostly sunny and right in the same range, 68 to 72 for both Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So, uh, again, it's going to be a mostly dry period, not only uh, for this week ahead, but also it looks like the first week of October is going to end up that way too. So we're going to take a step back in the precipitation a little bit. We're going to have those temperatures very nice in the uh, near to slightly below average range or something typical of what you would expect in early fall instead of these uh, heat and humidity patterns we've been in for so long that we're trying to get out of. I'm EPA, WA Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for September 24th, 2021. Have a great Friday.